Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this screencast in which I am going to show you how to find out the duration of a bond through a financial calculator. I am not basically going to teach you what is duration and how it is calculated. I am assuming that we all know the concept of duration and also how to calculate it manually. So we have an example here. It is a thousand dollar face value bond with a 6% coupon rate and three years remaining to maturity. 7% is the rate of interest in the market at the moment and we have been provided with the manual solution. The bond price is available 973.76 dollars and then through these two steps through this table and then this step here we have uh, found out the duration of the bond which is equal to about 2.83 years. The purpose of this screencast is to arrive at this same result through a financial calculator. So I am going to pull up the calculator here which is basically simulating the HP 10B2 uh, business calculator and I am going to use this now to punch in my data into this calculator and find out the duration. The first thing that I am going to do is I am going to punch in my payment which is going to be $60 because the coupon rate is 6% so I punch in 60 and store it as my payment. Then I am going to punch in the face value of the bond which is nothing but the future value. So I am going to punch in 1000 and store it as my future value. Then I am going to punch 7 which is my discount rate and I am going to store it as my interest per year. Then I am going to punch in 3 and I am going to press this N key to store it uh, as my time period. And then I am going to press this present value to get this number 973.7568. Basically what has happened is I have found out the price of the bond. Now you will appreciate the fact that this number here is the same as this number. So the bond price is 973.75 dollars. But since the price cannot be negative so we get rid of this negative sign here by pressing this plus minus button. Now this uh, bond price I am going to need later. Uh, so what I am going to do is I am going to store it away for later use. So to store it I am going to press this yellow button that is going to activate all the yellow items on this keypad. One of them is this store item. So I just press this button here store and then I press 1 so that this bond price is stored into the first memory available on the calculator. Now I am going to clear my display and I am going to go to the cash flow functions of this calculator. Basically I will be dealing with this column in my table here. Uh, this table does not have time period 0. If there was a time period 0 the cash flow in the table would be 0. So that is where I am going to begin from on the calculator. I am going to punch in a 0 and store it as my first cash flow that is for time period 0. After that I am going to deal with this number here 60. So I am going to punch in 6 0 and store it as my next cash flow for the first period and then I am going to deal with this number 120. I know this is 120 because I am looking at the table side by side but if I was uh, solving it directly on a calculator I would have no reference available about this table. So then what I would do is I would punch in 2 for the second time period and then I would say multiply and multiply by what by the payment in the second time period which is 60. And then I would say equal to and that would give me 120 which then I would store in the next cash flow. Then I would go to the third period so I will punch in 3 and then I would say multiply by the payment in the third period which is 1060 because in the third time period the face value of the bond is also returned along with the coupon payment. So 3 times 1060 would give me 3180 and that is this number here and this I am going to store again in this cash flow uh, button again. Now what I want to do is I want to enter in my interest rate one more time uh, here. So I press 7 and store it into interest rate and then I want to find out the NPV. Uh, so I am going to press this yellow button here activating all the yellow displays on the keypad. One of them is NPV. I press this NPV and get this number 2756.7147 which is about this thing 2755.64. Now what I need to do with this 2756.7147 I need to divide it by my bond price. 
that is similar to this step here where 2755.64 was divided by the bond price. So I now want to divide this. So I say divide by pressing the divide button and then I want to divide it by my bond price which I have stored in the calculator memory. So let me recall the memory by pressing this button here RCL which stands for recall. So I press this button recall and then I press 1 because I'm recalling the first memory that I stored and that brings back the display of the bond price and then I simply say equal to and that gives me 2.8310 which is about the same as this thing 2.8299 and so that is the duration of this bond uh, as calculated on this financial calculator. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. I hope you found this useful. Bye-bye.